Yo, yo, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Yo, I'm extremely excited for this video. This is actually a $40 million property in Dubai. It's a nice mega mansion. And the thing about this is I've been looking for a, a lot of properties in Dubai um, to react to because these properties are always amazing. Um, I've always wanted to travel to Dubai. I found out it's not too expensive, so I will be traveling to Dubai, to Dubai in my lifetime. But, um, you know, uh, the properties and the, the architecture in Dubai is highly advanced. I really like it. Can't wait to see it. Um, but this is actually a mansion in Dubai, so I'm extremely excited to see this. Uh, go to my uh, Instagram, subscribe to my Instagram. You'll see a lot of my good artwork. Um, I'll have leave the link in the link uh, in the description down below. Um, yeah, check out um, a lot more of my videos. Check out Ennis's channel. He has some good properties too. But uh, let's check out this video together. Dubai is exciting. I love Dubai for so many reasons and I've been here for 14 years. I thought I was going to stay for two, as most people do. They come over to Dubai, they're like, yeah, we'll just have a bit of fun, we'll stay for two years. 14 years later, there's a reason for that. So it's always moving, it's quick, it's fast paced. There's things happening all the time, it's exciting. Things change all the time, you're meeting new people all the time. You're seeing things being built, uh, there's new ideas. Everything goes online in an instant and that's what I love about this place. I probably wouldn't be super car blondie if I didn't live in Dubai. What's up everybody, it's Ennis here and welcome to Dubai. Today we're checking out this newly constructed modern estate located on Billionaire's Row in Palm Jumeirah. This house features five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, 13,702 square feet of enclosed area built on a 13,590 square foot lot and it is currently on the market for $40 million. I could tell you this property is going to be amazing. Look at the view already. Man, Dubai is amazing, an amazing place to go to. Um, I've never been there, but I will be, you know, and uh, I'm already excited for this video. As always, we will leave more information about this property in the description of this video, so make sure to check that out. And before we start our tour, I want to give big thanks to the developer, Alpago Properties, and the listing brokerage, B1 Properties, for giving us the honor to showcase their listing to all of you. And now, let's begin. Amazing B-rolls all the time with this channel for real. We're gonna start our tour on the exterior, beautiful modern design, newly constructed. And as we turn back and look at the facade of this property, we have travertine clad on top two floors, complemented with these decorative concrete panels, which looks great. And this home consists of four levels because we have a really nice subterranean garage where you can access it but this driveway on my left hand side property looks great nicely landscaped with these tall trees and you have this walkway taking you to the covered entry on my left hand side we have the water feature with this abstract sculpture glass enclosed entry and the front door right here let's go inside spacious 
first entry, beautiful oak hardwood floors. We have a seating area off of the front door, marble back wall, light fixture above, and this part is glass enclosed. And on the other side, we have the water feature that we saw on the exterior. Coming this way, we have another opening, taking us to a small hallway where we have the elevator on the right hand side, staircase on the left, and we're gonna cover this part later in the video. Now, coming to this opening, we go straight into the great room. This is the focal point of the main floor. Nice open seating area, minimalist lines, 23 foot high ceiling. And on this side, we have this floor, the ceiling glass assembly facing your backyard and your amazing views. We have the infinity edge pool, blue water, Atlantis. I mean, this is incredible. And coming back to the seating area, we have flex form furniture throughout, stone coffee table. Above us, we have this hinge light fixture, which is a thin cut ship of marble. That lava effect is really nice. It's like a, a villain layer or something, you know? And then uh, the uh, the fixtures, just like he's about to mention, just amazing. It's just it's simple and still elegant. It's a nice design. Marble with LED lighting that looks really exquisite. TV on my right hand side. And throughout the room on the walls, we have oak paneling, vertical onyx slabs with backlighting. And above that, second floor is all clad with these leather panels that looks really great. On top of that, you can see all these picture windows facing the great room. And those openings are from hallways, staircase, or the bedrooms with built-in shutters. That way you can either leave it open like the way we have it right now, or you can close it for some extra privacy. Regardless, room is amazing. Kitchen's on my left, family room is on my right. Amazing views right in front of us. This room is really special. Yeah, this is incredible. This is our second time at Palm Jumeirah in Dubai. Uh, the house we toured last time was deeper into one of the fronds. The fronds are basically the leaves that are coming off of the palm. This house is near the end of one, so we have way more water, uh, way better views, I think, and it just feels way more open. Absolutely, it's really close to the crescent, which is the island that surrounds the palm so you get more open better views open body of water and it's just a great spot to just relax enjoy the water maybe go jet boarding and breathtaking views we have the atlantis right in front of us royal atlantis around the corner it's pretty awesome yeah it's incredible now let's continue our tour i think we should explore a few solutions grammarly suggestions catch when your tone might undermine your message and it offers suggestions to Right on the other side, we have the family room. This is another spacious seating area and it feels a little bit more intimate because ceiling heights here are lower than the great room. We have leather paneled walls, beautiful onyx slabs that have been book matched with backlighting, looks great. We have the wood class ceilings with built-in speakers and right in the center you have the seating area. With it's crazy, I just went, went a lot with, uh, with a lot of these um extremely detailed properties I always just kind of get mesmerized in the architecture like the simplicity of that roundness on the uh, the countertops right there or not the countertops but the uh, the little desk and then like the way the chairs are shaped just super simple then the simplicity on the drawers or the dress it's like not a dresser but it's like a you know um, the countertops it's really nice. Or it could be a bookshelf as well. And I'm just impressed with this marble. I didn't know that was marble, but that's actually marble with a illuminant, like a LEDs in the back or some sort of light. It's really nice. Speechless. With this Minoti sectional couch, sandblasted travertine coffee table that looks gorgeous. And on that side, we have a ceiling and floor mount, open bookshelf design, which gives great dimension to the space, warm, cozy, facing the TV, great seating area. And on top of that, we have these motorized sliding glass doors opening up the space to the outdoors. These glass doors are from Eurosystem. They're super efficient, thin profile, and they do a great job connecting the indoors to the outdoors and creating this amazing flow. Lastly, we have the motorized curtains also here. 
just a beautiful space. And there's one more detail I want to point out here. We have this glass section here right in front of the TV. And down below me is a $6.5 million LaFerrari Aperta because this section here looks into the subterranean garage. That part of the home is super exciting. We have some of the most sought after cars in the world down below us. I can't wait to show it to you guys. But for now, we're gonna continue our tour on the main floor. Now, coming back to the great room, we have this door on my right hand side opening up to a spacious guest quarters located on the main floor. Off of the hallway, we have the polyform cabinets, which is your built in closet. And Mikey, can we get a close up? I mean, look at these glass doors and each one of these cabinets with beautiful racks, LED lighting. These cabinets are all spec'd out. You have every single hardware you can think of and it looks super elegant. Now let's go this way. We have this marble wall separating the closet from the bedroom itself, queen size bed, seating area, and this room feels very cozy, very intimate. And on my left hand side, you have the cantilevered roof line overhang detail here and because of that you kind of break the sun that comes into this room that's why it's a little bit more shaded a little bit more private and i just think it's a great guest quarters because it's on the main floor it's totally detached from the rest of the bedrooms easy access to the front door just an awesome bedroom now let's go this way of course we have the yeah that that natural light that gets led in right there is super nice i like the simplicity of this uh of the wall too and the plants automatic shades black house everything you need and coming here we have the freestanding tub book match marble back wall and this marble is called arbescado robico and we're gonna see this marble throughout the home on the floors on vanities a lot of different places that marble just looks like an eye it's super nice really really elegant design for real now coming here we have the bathroom floating vanity design two vessel sinks from Antonio Lupi chrome fixtures we have the walk-in shower here with a rain head, all axor fixtures, water closet, everything you need. And this door opens back to the hallway that we entered the bedroom from. Now let's take everybody back to the great room and I wanna mention one more thing. I wanna give huge credit to the developer, Alpago Properties. They have assembled an amazing team when it comes to designing this home. They had Seoda for exterior design. They had Massimo Castagna and CK Architecture for interior design. Then they had Interni for furniture gotta write and those that just shows how I gotta write those names down because uh, these guys are amazing architects how far they're willing to go to design something truly one of a kind and I do think they have accomplished that here that's why we're honored to tour this property and that's why I'm really excited to show it to you guys now before we leave the great room there's one more detail here Mikey can we get a close-up on this glass beautiful foosball table so I saw this yesterday for the first time and I was curious I was like this looks really nice maybe I would like to buy one for myself this is from Giorgetti and this foosball table costs 17,000 euros, which is around $18,000. And it is definitely out of my price range, but it looks beautiful. We can split it. Maybe, maybe, still a lot. Still a lot, yeah, for still sure. Still a lot. All right, let's continue our tour. Right on the other side, we have the kitchen and the dining area. It's another beautiful open space, motorized sliding glass doors, open up to the backyard, perfect indoor outdoor flow. Right in the center, we have this stunning hinge dining table that sits eight, looks beautiful. And above that, we have this chandelier design that goes all the way to the kitchen. Another great space. Can you That table and desk, super nice. Just imagine sitting down here, looking at these views, enjoying your meal. That table is just so simplistic. It's like a simple, like almost like a surfboard, but it's just a desk and it's highly detailed cabinetry on the back all polyform we have the glass covered sear and I know developers are gonna get mad at me for saying this but normally they have the full-size Gaggenau wine fridge here but unfortunately they have not received it yet due to supply shortages and that's why for us to be able to shoot this house they have placed a nice cover plate here but yeah if you buy this house you get a full-size Gaggenau wine fridge now right next to that you have your coffee bar I really like these doors that tucks to the side 
and you can close them off if you want to get the minimalist look but currently they have left it open looks awesome open shelving yeah it's a great addition to this kitchen uh, yeah, I really like that uh, staging too. Those salt and pepper grinders are quite massive. It's actually not staging. Every single accessory, furniture, fixture that you see in this house comes with the sale of the property, meaning it's fully furnished, ready to go. And Mike, if you buy this property, you can have all this. And I agree, the salt and pepper grinder, they look pretty cool. Yeah, for sure. Now, let's continue our tour. We have the rest of the appliances here, your oven setup, espresso maker, cabinetry, paneled fridge, and we have the freezer here, beautiful. And now let's focus on the kitchen itself. We have Old Spice. Look at my fudge stripes, baked with rich chocolatey Keebler fudge. Bro, was that three ads in a row? We have two islands that are from Henge and look at the fabrication here with the marble, the edges, the cuts. And on top of that, instead of the usual conventional one long island design, this actually comes in two separate pieces, which makes the kitchen look really modern and contemporary. On this one, we have the sink assembly with the drying rack, all marble, looks absolutely gorgeous. And on this side, we have the gas stove assembly, five burners, two downdraft ventilation, and again, the angles, details, fabrication, these two islands look absolutely gorgeous. Now, on this side, we have a massive picture window and to create some separation, they have placed this metal bookshelf, which looks really nice. And again, once you open up these sliding glass doors, you have that perfect indoor-outdoor flow and this space comes to life. Now, I wanna take everybody. That's interesting how it's kind of like a bookshelf behind the kitchen. That's pretty interesting. I've never seen a design like that. Once you open up these sliding glass doors, you have that perfect indoor-outdoor flow, and this space comes to life. Now, I wanna take everybody this way. We have this door opening up to a long service hallway. First door opens up to the chef's kitchen. Polyform cabinetry, stainless steel sink with a drying rack, gas stove, oven, uppers, paneled fridge and freezer, and to make this space a little bit more open, they have used shallow cabinets here. Now getting up or getting back to the hallway, let's go check out the room next door, which starts here and that's the laundry room, two washers, two dryers, sink, cabinetry, everything you need. And coming here, since this is the service hallway, we have an access to the outside through this exterior door. This door right here opens up to the first staff quarters, single bed, separate AC unit, TV, built-in cabinets, and it comes with a full bathroom. Now coming here, we have another- I really like how tall those doors are. Those doors are really tall. Another hallway, beautiful marble floors, and the same marble floors goes into the power room. We have porcelain walls, Antonio Lupi, stone pedestal sink that looks great. I really like the curvature on the mirror design here, toilet on this side, great powder room for the main level. Now lastly, coming here, we're at the landing of the elevator, which is on my left-hand side, and this opening takes us to the front door. And of course, you have your staircase here, going up to two floors, and it also goes down to your lower level. But before we check out these spaces, I wanna open up all these sliding glass doors so we can check out the backyard. Yo, so far, this property is amazing. Honestly, comment down below. What's your favorite feature so far? For real. We're going to start our backyard tour here. Off of the family room, seamless indoor-outdoor flow. And right in front of us, we have this raised outdoor seating section, pergola design above. And this is your outdoor dining area. We have the outdoor shower on this side. And coming here, this is your Novara outdoor kitchen assembly. This is where we have the grill, sink on this side, your fridge, and it really complements this outdoor dining area. Now, I wanna talk about the pool design. It runs the entire width of this plot. It looks amazing, infinity edge. We have the first Baja shelf here, second Baja shelf on this side, jacuzzi right here, and it looks so inviting. And I wanna talk about the waterproofing and the design of this pool. So. Since we have a subterranean garage, waterproofing of this pool is extremely important. 
not only have they gone out of their way to put multiple layers of waterproofing, they also worked with this company where they got each one of these towel pieces around the inside of the pool, pre-cut and pre-designed. That way everything fits perfectly. That way it really complements both the waterproofing and the aesthetics of this amazing Infinity Edge pool. Now, we are right in front of the great room. This glass assembly here is just massive outdoor seating area and your backyard continues. Now we have the sliding glass doors opening up from the kitchen and the dining area. Perfect indoor outdoor flow. We have the water feature here, outdoor lounging areas, your Baja shelf fire feature. I mean, this is amazing. And looking back, the architecture of this property is absolutely stunning. And just like the front facade, we have the same travertine clad and these decorative concrete panels on this side. House looks great on the exterior. I think Seo did a phenomenal job with the design. Also, this front is called the Billionaire's Row because there are 13 signature villas located on this front and six of them are being built or completed by Alpago Properties. What Signature Villa stands for is the villas with over 13,000 square foot lot, which is a really generous sized lot comparing to the rest of the Palm. And that's why this front is super special. And on top of that, it's so close to the Crescent that it gets phenomenal views. In fact, beach is literally right there. And within a few steps, you can be this close to the water. I mean, look at our views. We have the Atlantis Hotel here, the Royal Atlantis residences on this side. And being this close to the water, you can go paddle boarding, jet boarding, go swimming. Water is super clear. Honestly, this setup is truly one of a kind. And that wraps our tour on the main floor and the backyard. Now let's go back inside so we can check out the lower level. I wonder how big those buildings are when you're like right close up to them because they look so massive in the from the far away, but they probably are really that that big. Some nice properties out there for real. I cannot wait to check out these cars. Pontemara is a huge part of the Dubai real estate scene. If you say you live on the Palm, people already know you live well. So there's this kind of like a luxury feel to it that uh, you don't get many other places in Dubai. There are some other super exclusive areas in Dubai, of course, but the Palm just has that ring to it. The one thing that blows my mind is this where we're sitting right now. When you said this house on the Palm has an underground garage, I was like, no freaking way. Never heard of. I've never seen a modern house on the Palm. Now they may be there, but I've personally never seen one with an underground garage because we are on a palm tree in the middle of the ocean. It's very, very difficult to actually build underground. Like we are under the sea level right now. So um, to, to, to make sure that your cars, like $20 million worth of cars are protected um, when you're basically under the sea is kind of crazy. So this, this is what blows my mind about this house. You can actually drive down into your garage and everyone else is parking their Ferraris on the street. It's really nice to be able to have this and kind of put them away and keep them clean and tidy. Here we are on the lower floor landing. Let's talk about easy. Like fee free. Be easy. And no minimums easy. <laughs> Beautiful marble floors. And this. Um, that's interesting that the whole garage is under the sea floor, though. Like, you think. I'm thinking if it, you could blow a hole in the side or something, it'll ruin all his cars. Or, like, if there's a, some sort of leak, it'll probably flood. This discrete door right here opens up to the utility area where you have access to your pumps, pool motors, and every single utility you can think of when it comes to servicing this property. We also have another discrete door here, opens up to the driver's room. Think about this room as your second staff quarters. You have a single bed here, closet set up, its own AC unit, and around the corner we have a full bathroom with a walk-in shower and a washer and dryer. Now coming back to the landing, elevator access on our left-hand side, and then you have this glass door taking you to the subterranean garage. 
This is an incredible space and there are so many details that I want to cover and I want to show you guys all these cars. First, let's talk about the driveway and the garage door. It's an experience to drive down that driveway from the street level and come to this subterranean level. Garage door opens up and tucks above the ceiling. That way you have this very clean design throughout. We have these strip lights starting from the floors, going into the walls and going all the way up on the ceiling, which gives this garage a very, very futuristic look. And this space, I don't want to call it a garage, it's a car gallery because you can either showcase your cars like this where we have... A place looks just like a spaceship. Like, uh, it's really a nice design, especially with the lights that go through, man. Really, really nice. I like this, how the stone, too. It reminds me of, like, just some sort of layer. For real. It's pretty cool. Eight cars here, or if you wanted to stack cars here, you can put additional four here, two more on this side, one here, one there. In total, you can put up to 14 cars here and really take advantage of this space. Now, it's a really big deal for homes in Palm Jumeirah to have a subterranean garage. It's actually super, super rare. And when you think about it, water table is somewhere around here, which means 50 feet this way, you have the sea. And on top of that, you have your backyard pool. So you really have to go out of your way to do an amazing job with your waterproofing. We actually had a chance to see these properties on this front a few months ago, and I had a chance to talk to one of the project managers and they told me that whatever standards they had to meet for waterproofing, they basically went double. And that way they can be certain that this garage stays dry and waterproof in the future. Now, look at the lineup around us. These cars are amazing. I'm gonna point out a few and tell you guys how much they each cost because numbers are staggering. This is a McLaren SLR Mansur Renovadio, around $600,000. Beautiful carbon fiber body. Right next to that, we have a LaFerrari Aperta around six and a half million dollars. And above that is the glass opening that we saw in the family room where you can look down to your subterranean garage. Amazing detail. Next to that, we have a McLaren Senna around 1.8 million dollars. And I'm sure by now you guys are recognizing the pattern. All these cars have First Motors license plates. First Motors is an amazing car dealership located here in Dubai. And they have the- That freaking car. It's freaking amazing, holy cow. I've never seen anything like that. Craziest inventory I have ever seen in my life, and these <laughs> cars are just a proof of that. Yeah, and I actually got a chance to go there last time we were in Dubai. Uh, we actually did a full walkthrough with the CEO, Ali. Uh, they have over $100 million worth of inventory. Just an absolutely insane showroom. I don't know if there's anything like it anywhere in the world, but Alpago actually owns that as well, right? Correct, Alpago Group owns Alpago Properties, they also own First Motors, and they like to be the best at what they do, and that's why when it comes to cars, they have the best. When it comes to properties, they like to push boundaries and do amazing stuff. Not to mention as developers, building garages like this, since they're actually car people, they kind of know how to make really cool garages, you know? Absolutely, I mean, look how cool this space looks. We have the Ford GT here, around $1 million, beautiful art installation. On the other side, we have a Black Series AMG GT, P1, around $850,000. Then we have the Ferrari F12, which is around $1.4 million. Another LaFerrari, around $3.5 million. And lastly, the crown jewel of this gallery, we have a Bugatti Chiron Super Sport 300 plus. This is actually the world's fastest car with a top speed of 494 kilometers, which is around 305 miles an hour. It costs about $6.5 million and without a doubt, the most beautiful car I have ever seen in my life. Look at this thing. Pretty incredible. And you said all the furniture comes with the house through the cars? Unfortunately not. These cars are around $20 million, half the price of the home. Yeah. And they do not come with the house, unfortunately. Also, they gave me the key of the Bugatti. In fact, my key, why don't we open up the door here and show everybody inside. I've never I mean, been in a Bugatti before. Let's see what it's like. This car is gorgeous. In fact, Hop I'm in gonna front. sit on the driver's side it's amazing. Let me see if I can get in with my suit. And there you go. In fact, they said, Ennis, if you want to start the car, you can. So let's give it a go. Wow. Insane, huh? Give it a rev. Okay, that's good enough. That's wild. 
That is insane. And that wraps our tour on the lower level. Now let's go back to the staircase so we can check out the first floor. Crush it! Round it! Drag it all around! Cause every minute and every hour you'll be shaking by the shades and by the power of my love! Bother the bugs. Not your family. Zevo uses essential oils, which attack bugs' biological systems. It gets rid of the bugs, plus is safe for use around people and pets. Gotcha. Zevo, people friendly, bug deadly. That's funny, I couldn't even skip it. I was gonna skip that ad, man. I could, didn't even have the option. Um, but uh, that garage was amazing. Holy cow. The sound of that Bugatti. It was uh that's a, a hell of an opportunity for real um and then sadly uh the cars don't come with the property here we are on the first floor landing we have three bedrooms on this level junior primary here primary bedroom on this side and we have this door opening up to the smallest bedroom out of the three. Plaster walls, queen size bed, built-in closets, beautiful marble wall with stainless steel inlay, and then it transitions into this leather section on the right-hand side. It's front-facing and we can see those concrete decorative panels up front right here, and they also have a Juliet balcony. Now, around the corner, we have a full bathroom, Antonio Lupi vanity, chrome fixtures, these soap holders are also soap dispensers on the bottom. They even have a small little paddle. Walk-in shower, water closet, everything you need. This is the smallest bedroom out of the three that we're gonna see on this level. Now, let's go right across to check out the junior primary bedroom. I'm gonna start with the closet here. All polyform, same champagne profile that we saw on the main floor. They have it here, reflective glass. It's just a really exquisite space. And the furniture here, this Catalan dresser table looks great. Mikey, why don't you go to the other side? That way we can show everyone this glass assembly here. On the other side, we have the junior primary bathroom. You can see the ceiling mount round mirrors. In fact, let's go check out that space. It starts right here. Beautiful porcelain floors, freestanding tub, marble back wall, skylight above. And on this side, we have the vanity that is set back from that glass wall. Two vessel sinks, and Mikey, can we get a close up? Look how exquisite, look how beautiful these fixtures are with marble tops. This is the first time we are seeing this finish, and rest of the bathroom, we have the water closet here with a bidet, walk-in shower with a massive Axar rain head, and just a good sized bathroom. Now, let's go back to the hallway so we can check out the junior primary bedroom, super spacious, facing the backside of the property, motorized sliding glass doors open up to a private balcony dedicated for this room and you have glass railing to take nothing away from the views we have the king size bed on this side and on the back you can see half marble half wood paneled wall that looks very exquisite in front of the bed we have a really nice seating area facing the tv hinge light fixture above and above that we have a drop ceiling detail with mood lighting really warming up the space it's another great bedroom and there's one more detail I would like to point out. We talked about this in the great room. We have these glass panels looking down to your great room. And if you want some privacy, you can actually slide these panels and blend them in with this wood panel wall, or you can actually open this up and make the room feel a little bit more spacious. Now, that's it for the junior primary bedroom suite. I wanna take every- I like that detail, how you can close that off and it look just like a nice wall back to the hallway so we can check out the primary bedroom. Mikey, what do you think of the house so far? Uh, I really like it. You know, I, uh, I like Palm Jumeirah. It's something that we don't really have in the States. We don't. And we're on the hallway, by the way, taking us to the primary bedroom. Massive glass panels looking into your great room. And it's a great design element because you can even see the views from the hallway that connects the landing to the primary bedroom. Now, we're gonna start our tour here. First, let's go check out the bedroom itself. Plaster walls, porcelain clad walls here, 
and we go straight into the room itself. It's definitely good size, situated on the left wing, motorized sliding glass doors open up to a private balcony for this room and look at your views. You have the Atlantis Hotel right in front of us, Palm Jumeirah, and the decorative concrete panel that I talked about at the backyard. You can actually see them closer here and it's also a really good size balcony. And coming back to the bedroom, king size bed on my right hand side. Behind that you have a statuary marble book match. It's a beautiful slab and looking up you have your hinge light fixtures, drop ceiling with mood lighting, seating area facing the TV, and just like the other bedroom, we have these panels that can either close off these fixed windows or you can leave them open, which allows this room to get a little bit more natural light and it makes the space feel a little bit more open. Now, around the corner, of course, we have an amazing primary bathroom. In fact, let's go check that out. We have the vanity set up right in the center, set back from the glass back wall, two vessel sinks, gorgeous fixtures, and we have these ceiling mount mirrors that looks great and makes the space feel a little bit more open. Right behind me, we have a freestanding tub with another glass wall. And the way they designed this home, they try to put glass as much as possible to make these rooms and these walls a little bit more open. Skylight above, walk-in shower on this side, massive rain head, and look at the size of this walk-in shower. Fixtures are gorgeous, your shampoo-ish, beautiful bathroom. Now, let's go to the other side. We have the water closet here and the bidet. It leads you to your walk-in closet, but first, I wanna actually take everybody this way. You actually have a really cool courtyard dedicated to your primary bathroom. It's an open-air space, super private. Outdoor I just got a slight glimpse of that, uh, that closet. Psh, that closet was really nice. Seating area, you have the planter on this side. You know, Dubai has amazing weather, eight months out of a year, which allows you to really use the outdoors. That's why having spaces like this is great. I'm gonna close the door here, continue our tour. You have this door opening up to the walk-in closet for the primary bedroom, same polyform cabinetry. Obviously, this is the biggest closet we have in this house, and space looks phenomenal, really clean. I love that closet is just so nice. I've never seen anything like that when it comes to a closet to where you like, wow, that's amazing. The architecture on this home is just something that I've like, they, they got things in this home that I've just never seen architecturally before. And I knew that that was gonna be, that was gonna happen with this video for sure. This place is amazing. Love these tin profile doors. You have a really nice dresser here and it connects nicely both to your bathroom and to your entry hallway. That way you can either come to your closet or go straight to your bedroom. Now that wraps our tour on the first floor. Let's go back to the staircase so we can check out the second floor. Hallelujah. It's Calafia. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere, man. I've been everywhere. Here we are on the top floor. You can either take this elevator or you can come through your regular staircase, which looks awesome with the vertical lighting. And coming to the landing, we have few exterior doors that goes to the utility areas. And going this way, we have this long hallway that takes us to the amazing second floor. We have an outdoor seating area on my left, powder room on my right. Let's go have a look. Stone pedestal sink, floor mount fixture, porcelain walls, great size powder room for this level and going in on our left hand side we have the lounge area and the kitchenette but first i want to go through this door to check out the only bedroom on this level king size bed beautiful marble back wall tv on this side and of course we have sliding glass doors here opening up to the views and this section actually is a juliet balcony but on the side it opens up and almost serves as an additional outdoor seating area for this room around the corner we have a full bathroom Antonio Lippi vanity here looks great and I really really appreciate that they have fabricated this bottom piece here to cover the drain lines and all the water lines that way this bathroom design looks very clean you have your walk-in shower here mood lighting above rain head and you have your toilet set up here with the bidet just a good sized bathroom and honestly this is just a great bedroom to really detach yourself 
from the common areas and old bedrooms down below and just be by yourself because you even have your own seating area which starts right here. Whoa. I love how the marble is on the floor and on the pillars in this area. It's private seating area. And the chandeliers. Wow. Never seen chandeliers like that. Furnishings in this room and the outdoors look great. These are extended couches and just the design of it I personally really, really like. You have the marble coffee table here, TV on the other side, and this room is really special because on this side you can open up these motorized sliding glass doors to a good size Juliet balcony where you can enjoy the views or you can actually open up these sliding glass doors on this side to a really nice protected courtyard area that way you can either be set back or set forward and regardless whichever direction you're facing or you're sitting down you can enjoy the views on both sides now coming here we have the dining area this table here costs twenty six thousand dollars definitely over my price range but looks beautiful complements the space and right on the other side you have a small kitchenette that has everything you need you have a dishwasher Gaggenau gas cooktop with the built-in vent sink by the way dishwasher is located here and you have your fridge on this side and on the back you have all your pantry space wine fridge microwave everything you need but more importantly you can just open up these sliding glass doors and really enjoy the outdoors we have a really nice seating area here outdoor dining area on this side and just like the backyard we have another outdoor kitchen here same brand sink grill and this back patio is actually connected to the Juliet balcony up front where we have the amazing views of Palm Jumeirah and and look at this I mean this is incredible amazing this property is incredible it's amazing the view right out to that that seating area upstairs private two private seating areas man and then it just leads right to this view it's incredible your infinity edge pool down below amazing views what a special property and what an amazing place Alright everyone, that's it for the tour. What a day. We got a chance to tour this. This property was amazing. Honestly, I'm literally speechless with all the uh, just interesting things in this whole uh, property. Um, like, comment, subscribe on my way to 10k. Um, so go subscribe to Ennis' uh, channel right there. You're going to get some really good properties um, and some really good content uh, before you go over there. Sub to me. Um, also, check out my artwork on my IG. I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, and uh, yeah, just follow me on IG and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Yeah, bro. And uh, see you guys in the next video. Let's.